Well met travelers. Welcome back to Disney World. Today, we are at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I think this is the park that I've spent the least amount of time in overall at Disney. I've only ever done like three attractions here. So I'm gonna spend the whole day here, do a bunch of the stuff I've never gotten to do. Hang out with Airtime Obsessed as usual. Yesterday was his birthday and I goofed up real bad at Magic Kingdom and pushed my body way too hard. Last night was rough. I was beat up and sore and my head was pounding. It was just, ugh. Guys, when you're at these parks or any park, please, for your own sake, stay hydrated. Don't push yourself too hard. If you feel your body starting to hurt, take a break. Don't be dumb like I was and hurt yourself. I should have gotten here earlier today, but I didn't because I goofed up. So just a word of the wise, listen to your body in these situations. Anyway, let's get into this park, have some fun, ride some rides, see some, some creatures, and have a good old day. Let's go. And here we go. Let's go right. Oh wait, actually, I never go left. Let's go left. All right, first up, Kilimanjaro Safaris. all of them, but we'll do our best to see many of them. If you have your cameras, feel free to take pictures. Just be sure to hold on to those cameras, as we can't stop for anything that falls from the truck. Now, hippos will usually spend the majority of their day in the water to escape that hot sun, oftentimes remaining fully submerged for up to eight minutes at a time. Now, the hippos, they will come out a little bit more frequently at dusk and size of the Nile crocodiles. Nile crocodiles can average about six feet in length and up to 500 pounds. The larger antelope that you see at the top of the Hispana Hill, that's an eland. Now eland are the largest species of any high up in those trees. Now you'll probably notice all of the giraffe have a slightly different coat pattern. Just like our fingerprints. The safari is really cute. It's your classic safari ride. You got your lions, your tigers. Not tigers, actually. No tigers, cheetahs. A bunch of other creatures. I remember when I was a kid, there was actually a storyline in there about poachers. Uh, Dawn now, I guess. I remember that, though. It was cool. Anyway, onward and upward. Okay, took a little break after the safari, but now I think it's time to ride Everest. I can't come here and not ride Everest, you know? Oh, wait, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, now we're headed to Ride Everest. There she is, the Forbidden Mountain. Fun fact, this mountain is exactly 199.5 feet tall, so that Disney didn't have to put a blinking aircraft warning indicator light on the top of it. They thought it would break the immersion. What's not to love, right? It's the only roller coaster here. Didn't used to be. There was a, a wild mouse here, if I believe, or if I remember correctly. Something world? I don't remember. But it's a great ride. Everyone loves Everest. I wish it had like an inversion somewhere, but it is what it is. It's Disney. We don't really dabble in inversions other than rock and roller coaster, which is closed. All right, let's see what's next on the docket, shall we? My lightning lane's here, I'm until later, but 
I didn't really get to check out Pandora last time. I want to go in here and have a look around. God, that's so cool. I love that. I can't wait to see this at night. It's gonna be awesome. So neat. Look at that. Wow. So cool, man. This must be quite a passage. I like that they went with these statues of people or whatever you want to call them other than actually life size. I think this should do just fine. Would it? What a vibe. Here is my lunch right here. I got the combination chicken and chimichurri beef bowl and the blueberry cream cheese mousse. Y'all know I hate being watched eating, so catch you in a bit. That was actually extremely delicious, and I love that you can see where they're cooking the chicken out here. This place is neat. Look, guys, it's Kevin. I have made my way over to Dino Land USA. Uh, from what I understand, a short-lived area of the park soon to be here, if I phrase that correctly. Uh, from what I understand, dinosaur is being refueled from Indiana Jones, and I don't know if this area is going to survive, or if they'll just downscale it, or what it's going to be. Maybe this whole area will be rethemed or leveled and rebuilt with something else. Who knows? I guess these are expired pens that are no longer in circulation. As you can see here, some really rare ones. Wow. I have no idea who these guys are. Somebody must. Oh, wait. No second. They're going to take some Disney characters. Duh. What was I thinking? Those are all well known Disney characters. Oh, I want that key. Oh, my God. I want that key so bad. And the theme of finding tiny lizards everywhere I go continues. Hello, small friend. Well, since it'll be gone soon, I think the logical next step is dinosaur. Oh, come on. He looks kind of cute. Scritch, scritch, scritch. So, yeah. As I said, this ride behind me will soon be gone. Replaced with Indiana Jones. So let's get a ride in. Still not our 
our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. I'm gonna miss Dinosaur when it's gone, but it is showing its age a little bit, no pun intended. And we are back to Pandora to ride Flight of Passage. I'm really looking forward to this. Everybody says it's amazing. Let's try it out. All right, let's go find our flight of passage, I guess. That was freaking cool, man. That was really fun. I'm not even a huge Avatar fan, and that was super fun. Flight of Passage is a must-do. All right, and with that, straight from Flight of Passage to Navi River Journey. River journey. Uh, visually stunning. Boring as sin. Uh, utterly boring. If I had waited over an hour for that, I would have been mad. I would go so far as to say that this is a waste of space. Uh, the animatronic is cool, but that's pretty much what you're waiting to see for eight seconds, maybe. Uh, I'm glad I had a lightning lane for that. My hair is just becoming sentient. 
My gosh. Wow, this totally changes vibes at night. This is cool. Well, friends, please excuse my disheveled and sweaty appearance. I'm just that kind of guy. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. This is my last night at Disney World. It's been an honor to have you along with me on the adventure. Please go ahead and do all those things that you know make me cringe to say. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your grandma, share with your ex, share with everybody, be annoying about it. The likes really do help the channel, for the record. With all that being said, my friends, until we meet again, travelers, Godspeed.